good morning everyone today's my topic is central retinal thickness changes in pediat treated with intravitreal ranibizumab versus ranibizumab plus brp there are no financial disclosures and coming to the intro diabetic retinopathy is a common complication of type 2 diabetes and is the leading cause of blindness in the working population in the world without timely treatment 50% of the patients with peripheral to diabetic retinopathy will lose their sight within 5 years Retinal neovascularization represents an important risk factor for the severe vision loss in patients with diabetic mellitus. Panretinal photocoagulation has been the gold standard for PDR treatment since the 1980s as it arrests the progression of diabetic retinopathy by improving retinal oxygen supply and decreasing the subsequent production of vascular endothelial growth factors. Anti-visual and intravitreal therapies radically change the outcome of the diabetic retinopathy due to combined anti-angiogenic and anti-edematous activities. Coming to the aim of my study, it is to compare central retinal thickness between the eyes with proliferative diabetic retinopathy treated with intravitreal ranibizumab and intravitreal ranibizumab with panretinal photocoagulation. Coming to my objectives, it is to assess the changes in central retinal thickness in patients with PDR undergoing intravitreal ranibizumab, ranibizumab with PRP, and to compare both the groups. Coming to my study type, it's a prospective observational study with uh, 30 eyes as a sample size. Uh, and they were divided into 15 eyes each in group A and group B. Group A were done, uh, were uh, given intravitreal ranibizumab and group B were given intravitreal ranibizumab along with PRP. It is a convenient type of sampling and duration of the study is six months. All the demographic details were collected and the study was in accordance with the ethical committee guidelines and all the patients were informed about the purpose of the study and an informed consent was taken. Institutional review board clearance was also taken. Coming to my methodology, Best corrected visual acuity in logmo format was recorded and IOP with Goldman appellation tonometry was done. Pupil dilatation was done with 1% tropical eye drops and after checking IOP. Dilated fundus examination with direct ophthalmoscope plus 90D and in case of media haziness, an indirect ophthalmoscopy was done in these patients. On fundus, diabetic retinopathy severity was graded using EDTRS protocol and basic blood investigations were performed like RBS and HPA1C. Coming to the procedure, the first group received intravitreal ranibizumab of 0.5 mg in 0.05 ml at baseline 4 weeks and 8 weeks. The second group received standard PRP treatment delivered as per the routine clinical practice targeting non-perfusion areas along with intravitreal ranibizumab. And PRP was done with a single retinal specialist with NIDA green laser of 532 nanometers frequency. PRP was performed in two sessions with an interval of 15 days between two sessions and shots were delivered with a pulse duration of 0.2 seconds for the total of 1200 to 2000 bur burns. SDOCT was performed using central retinal thickness. Coming to the inclusion criteria, patients with proliferative diabetic retinopathy defined as per EDTRS guidelines as follows, presence of neovascularization at the disc, presence of neovascularization at this associated with vitreous or preretinal hemorrhages, neovascularization elsewhere with more than half disc area associated with vitreous or preretinal hemorrhages, and my exclusion criteria was significant patients with significant media opacity, any history of pre previous laser treatment of vitrectomy in the study eye, fractional retinal detachment, patients with history of ophthalmic diseases other than DR and cataract, patients with intraocular surgery except for cataract extraction, and patients with external ocular infections. Coming to the data analysis, it is a type of, uh, it was collected and analyzed in Microsoft Excel and SPSS software. And uh, my uh, main was independent sample t-test and uh, less than 0.05 p-value was taken as significant. Coming to my results, the p-value in both the groups were, co when compared, they, they were less than 0.05, which is significant. Coming to discussion. Uh, compared to other studies like JAWS et al, uh, where panretinal photocoagulation versus PRP plus PRP with intravitreal ranibizumab for high risk proliferative diabetic work done, they concluded that intravitreal ranibizumab after PRP was associated with reduction of FLP at the week of 42 compared with the PRP alone. Coming to JAWS et al, in which ranibizumab plus PRP was done is called as protease study, it concluded that intravitreal ranibizumab along with PRP were more effective than PRP monotherapy alone. Coming to my limitations, it's a shorter follow-up time period was done, and in conclusion that uh, intravitreal ranibizumab along with PRP was associated with larger reduction in central retinal thickness at one month when compared with intravitreal ranibizumab alone in patients with the PDR, and the additional use of PRP appears to protect against a visual function than intravitreal ranibizumab alone. These are my references. Thank you. Okay. So is this an observational study? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Actually, mine was an observational study because I was not uh, suggesting them any, uh, uh, any treatment. Actually, this comes under comparative international study. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So, which one do you think is better now? 
actually this both were giving similar results ma'am but uh, in if both were uh, similarly done intravital ranibizumab alone will be better because uh, it will be uh, easier for the patient uh, comfort and uh, it is a single monotherapy so it's better to opt for intravital yes, longer follow ups yes every month you have to follow up the patient yes ma'am opt for how many of the in group one patients how many acquired the laser post intervention laser actually uh, i did a very shorter follow up period sir so uh, for my follow up period i we didn't find any extra laser so that needed ah uh, no sir